got champagne in my locker, and it's gonna rain on my friends. I got W's on my Hello! Welcome to episode number four of the Pay Me to Stop podcast by Simone Lawrence. Oh, big round of applause. Hey, we got a dope show today. We got one of my favorite people, Brandon Banks. Yes, we have Brandon Banks in the house right now as we speak, and he's gonna be here soon, but he is in the building. He is definitely in the building. Brandon Banks, I repeat, Brandon. <laughs> All right, yeah, he's, he's in the building. But, you know, I gotta get straight to it first. This don't got nothing to do with nothing, but I have to tell Hamilton something. All right, so there's a gym on Lock Street. And when I tell you we used to have the most fun in this place, like we would usually just go there, like four of us as a teammates, everybody that played for the Thai Cats know about this place. We would go there, play the music, take over the mini bar, and just have the biggest party ever at on Lock Street at West Town Bar and Grill. We love West Town and West Town loves us and we like to appreciate them. So big shout out to West Town. Also, this doesn't have, well, this has a lot to do with everything, and you guys are always asking me, well, what about this? What about this? Word on the street is Simone Lawrence is back running, cutting, and doing everything you're supposed to be able to do in football. So, heads out for him. I heard that he's doing really well with, the, with everything, and he's getting ready to ball. Let's get back to it. We have a special guest. This man goes by the name of Brandon Banks. He goes by the name of Speedy B. Wait. Speedy B. We have Speedy B on the show, bro. What's up, man? What's up, brother? How you doing? <laughs> this is, look, this is Brandon Banks, and this is one of my dogs, though. You know what I mean? Like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's hard, it's hard. Like, and this is a legend, you know what I mean? It's not just like a one of those, you know, hi, my name's Brandon, you know, I just became this. Brandon, you was the man in junior college. Appreciate that. You was the man in the college. You was the man in pros. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, that's what I like to talk to about, like, what I like, you know, right. and I love football. So having you on this, John, is a blessing. But let's talk about junior college, because, you know, I went to junior college, too. Right. And you, you know, know what you got to do to get out of them junior colleges. So I'm going to tell my story real quick. So I went to a military academy, and it's pretty much, like, you got two years to do what you got to do so you can do what you want to do. And, like, you don't got a lot of time. You just got to depend on the games. Uh, in junior college, I went, like, All-American or something, and then I got a full ride to Minnesota. Talk about what you did with that junior college. Man, was my my role was tough. Well, actually, I, you know, me coming out of high school, I was all, tra all track this, track that, yeah. you know what I mean? So I went overseas running track first. Mm -hmm. And obviously, that wasn't my first love. Obviously, my first love is football. I always wanted to find my way back in football. Mm -hmm. So obviously, I had to go to junior college, man. Junior college was like... To be honest, it was like another two years of high school, man. It was tough. It was pretty rough. But obviously, at the end of the day, man, I, doing what we love to do at the end of the day, we was playing football. And mm -hmm. at the end of the day, I had two great seasons of football. Then I, I was offered a full scholarship at Kansas State University. Yeah. So it was a good two years. I had a great uh, season. Had a great career. At, uh, got a couple of records there. So it was pretty Yeah. Good. Hold on. What kind of records you got? Uh, I think I got like the all-purpose yardage and touchdowns. Yeah. And that makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> all-purpose. All-purpose. The boy is definitely all-purpose. And then you got the college. College campus. Wait, when did you realize that you was faster than everybody? Like, when when that kick in? Man, to be honest, it kicked that bar about junior year of high school, man. For to real? be honest, yeah, because uh, I was number one in the country in two thousand the year 2006, maybe. And that was by, like, USA polls and stuff. Yeah, bro. I was number one in the nation. <laughs> yeah. Bro. That's when I probably realized I was a little different. <laughs> like, he could get away from anything. Right. When did you stop growing? Shit, probably in <laughs> first grade. <laughs> Like, nah, I'd be mad curious, like, when did you peak out? Because I'm just like, was you, like, big? What, what Was you at a point in time where you was, like, big? Like, there was a point in time in football, I was bad small. Bro, there was a never point in time I was big. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no, I always had the biggest heart, though. That's all that no, matters. That, hey, no, 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 we all know that. We've been on missions together. Right. <laughs> That's facts. <laughs> So for sure, we got Brandon Banks on the show. Um, dog, so on this podcast, right, I pretty much just talk about whatever I want. I, oh, I get right. to invite all my friends. You see, only the gang, you know oh, what right. I mean? Only appreciate, the gang. Appreciate y'all having me. You ask me anything. So, <laughs> ask me anything. So we're here with Brandon Banks, dog. And like, I was curious because people don't get to talk to Brandon because Brandon don't really like talking to all you reporters that like act like that and talk like that and look like that. So, <laughs> So anytime y'all want to talk to the great Brandon Banks, y'all got to come through me. You're like, 
like Sim or something, you know what I'm saying? Right. But like, all right, so it was this time. I remember I called you right after because I was like, yo, everything good? I need to drive down this QEW real quick. Everything straight. When you was on the sideline and somebody was talking to you about like, wait, it was like you was on the sideline and it looked like one of your teammates was talking to you. And first of all, I was already mad because I'm like, what is this P? I I mean, what is this kid talking to like, you know, this is Brandon Banks. Like, I don't know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, nah. you know, people don't, don't really respect it until right. they forced to respect it, you know what I'm right. saying? I'm like, why is this kid talking to Brandon Banks on the sideline? Nah, I'm it was like, just... It was, and I'm like, when Brandon threw the water bottle back, I was a man <laughs> I was like, yes, I mean, man, it was just, to be honest, man, it was just some teammates in a, in a, in a, in a battle, in a hard-fought battle, it just... You know, going at each other when, you know, I should have been a bigger person, the vet person that I am. I should have, you know, just let it slide. But, you know, it was the heat of the battle. Yeah. Somebody said something to me, somebody did something to me, and the feisty person that I am, I always had to do something back. But at the end of the day, I, I should have been a bigger person, and, you know, I should have just let it slide. Like you said, teammates fight. You know, we just, at the end of the day, we had one goal. We was trying to win. But at the end of the day, that's still my good friend to this day. We see each other every day at work, and mm -hmm. it's all good. Yeah, that's that's real though. But that that happens a lot though. Right, just exactly. a lot. Like I was on your, like it happens a lot. But like in our sport, it get magnitude, right? I was just I was on Twitter the other day. I seen this racer, right? <laughs> this driver, he was racing. Oh yeah, he was start punching in the car. <laughs> yeah, I seen that. Yeah. So so he get out the car. He was mad. I guess the guy cut him off or something. Yeah. And he got wild. in the guy car and just started boom boom punching. Right. It was just man. You know, people people want to win, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be able to do whatever it can do to win, man. And, at all costs. And it's addicted, though. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you, like, Brandon, you've been the man since you've been born. You know what I'm saying? Like, regardless of, like, what you think, like, what's going on, like, you've always been that. I mean, I, I know Brandon it. Banks, S550, Brandon Banks, pull it up. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you're so tired about that. <laughs> I know Brandon <laughs> Banks, you feel me? And, like, I got a bunch of friends in Baltimore. And I was like, yo, what's up with Brandon? It's me, me, yo, yo, Diddy, how you doing, yo? I've been and around, I've like, been around. For they, love, they love Brandon Banks everywhere, you feel me? That's for real. And um, also, we also had, what else we had to talk about, Brandon, about, yo, when did you, when did it lock in when you was like, all right, I'm settled in, in different colors? I can't say the name on the thing, right, but when, right. when the end, mean, when did it kick in? When it kick in? Yeah, that you wasn't on, you wasn't, you, you still a member, I mean, but when uh, you wasn't it, with the game. Right, right. Um, it probably kicked in, probably like the first game, like really like in the dressing room, really, you know, dressing out like, I ain't running out and not hearing you saying body bag and, and you know, things like that. It was just different for me, probably like the first game. Mm -hmm. But when it felt good, it was just probably Labor Day when it really kicked in. <laughs> All right, yeah. But, no, but so it really <laughs> kicked in because I was in the visitor locker room. Like I was doing yeah, everything yeah. opposite at nah. Tim Hortons that I was used to doing when mm -hmm. I'm going there, driving there, going yeah. to the visitor's locker room. That's when it really hit me like, damn, I'm really on the other side of this. Yeah. This is real robbery. This this is what it is out mm -hmm. here. So yeah. But like you handle that like a G, like a gangster, that. like the ultimate pro. And you know, like, cause like I know, like there's a certain people that's going to football heaven. Everybody get like, when, like after this life, I really believe it's a football heaven. And only like the real footballers get to like go and hope bust I make it up. It. And try. You <laughs> definitely gonna be I there. Though, you feel me? Like right. you definitely gonna be there. Cause like it's only one speed B. Like it's no nobody really like you. That I appreciate can that. Me. Do what you do, you feel me? So like when we get to football heaven, I'm like, all right, Speedy gonna be there for sure. Like, how how who would who would be in your football heaven? Like when you get there and stuff, like who would current you, or like old players? Like current and old. Current and old. Like old old players, like my favorite all time is like Barry Sanders, <laughs> Deion Sanders. Yeah. Of They're course. my favorite two at all times. Um, mm -hmm. um I'm a, I'm a huge Reggie Bush fan. Like, Reggie Bush was everything to me coming out of the you yeah. know, college and everything. <laughs> yup, returning um, them kicks. Yeah. Um, Devin Hester, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, and then my all-time guy was Santana Moss. Santana? I, really, I really looked up Santana oh, Moss. Oh, yeah. And then you went over and there. And then I went to him. Oh, yeah. Oh, I went to play on him. got to talk about that. Yeah, he took me on his wing, man. My rookie year, you know, my rookie year, I, was, I went to the Washington Redskins with the Commanders now. Mm -hmm. Um he took me under his wing. I never forget, man. To be honest, I probably been starstruck only like three people in this world, and mm -hmm. he was like one of them. Right. And there was like I had posters of this guy in my college, That's and then real, I, all of a sudden go play. Y'all yeah, play the same slot position. Play the same position. Right? Like I say, he took me on his wing. That's my guy to this day, man. That's I, I love Santana Moss. For real. And then like Speedy over in the Redskins. I remember when you was in the Redskins, right? Because right. like I was like, yo, how does this work? Like this is crazy. So I was playing for the Redskins at. I mean, for Tampa Bay Buccaneers at the time. You gonna remember because you had a big game. 
I know so what I, you're talking about. So I played for the Buccaneers, and it was one of those survival games. So I'm on all four special teams, and I'm starting defense. So I'm blown. Four preseason game. <laughs> So I'm going crazy. We played, I think we was in, it was in uh, D.C. Yeah, actually. In it was Washington. in Washington. Yep. So it was like, oh, they got a speedy returner. Duh, duh, duh. I look at the roster. I'm like, breast 5'7", bro. <laughs> I'm not tripping. Like, what y'all talking about? Because I'm still in that attitude. Like, I'm the best thing says Rusty, right? right? So I'm in Tampa. Duh, duh. I'm like, all right, this is my big game. I'm smacking on defense. And then I run down. I get the first tackle. I grab you. Woo! Tackle Speedy Banks. Yes! Oh, what y'all talking about over the time? Like, he's supposed to be this. Oh, man. The next punt return. They put that joint to Speedy. Speedy, catch it. To I see house. the back of 16. <laughs> to the house, 16. I see the back of 16. Yeah, I remember All that. I can think about the coach was like, he's fast, protect the edge. He's fast, protect the <laughs> you know, How it feel like, I want to know the difference between that NFL field of scoring a touchdown and that CFL field of touchdown. Cause you you like you one of the best ones. You did it on both coasts and you right, didn't right. just do it like you was the best at it both coasts. Um man that CFL different because like man you got so much field to play around with. I yeah. mean, and you know I mean, seven times out of ten, you pretty much faster than everybody on the field up here in the CFL. Facts, um, yeah. So I mean, you just got space, so it just, it just, it's just fun. It just you got so much room to work with. In the NFL, it's like it's either right now or, <laughs> or you ask them to get hit or something like that. But um, I think the CFL, man, the way my game is suited in football, I think my translating to the CFL game was so perfect. I mean, yeah. Just the space and the opportunities, no fair catches, the halo rule. <laughs> Stuff like that gave me more opportunities with the ball in my hand. It was just, man, just so much space and room for me to operate out here. And that's what nah. I like. I'm a space player, so for real. CFL returning, man, it was just, it's just fun to do. I mean, I'm, obviously you can go back to the times we, you was on point return with me. It was yep. just, it just, just fun to do. Man. Right, especially blocking for speed, because right. you know how you get on special teams. You a starter on defense, and you going crazy on defense, Tied. and you get on that special team. But then you look back there and you see somebody that's about that life. You're like, I bet. And then we play card games all day together. <laughs> <laughs> trying to bring up oh, the old yeah. days. <laughs> oh, I got to go way back. Way back. I got to go way back. <laughs> because there's some people I got to throw some shots out. Like, Ed Gay, you're the worst. But, hey, no, listen, CFL, look, if anybody in the CFL, nobody goes to the ATM more than Ed Gay, yo. <laughs> <laughs> nobody. I have that. nothing to do with that. <laughs> I have nothing to do with hey, this. Hey, but I, shout out to Ed Gang, and shout out to May with Davis. Yeah, shout out to old, the old yeah, gang, the gang, old gang. What's up, gang? But look, who go to the ATM? The I don't know place? what he talking about Every right now. Everybody talk right now. <laughs> who run it? Who run it back and forth? You. <laughs> <laughs> My last name Banks, man. What you talking about, man? And it's always open. I promise you, the bank is always, always open. open. Always open. Anytime you need something, you go to the bank and you just take it. Nah, man. you don't take nothing. Man. <laughs> it ain't sweet, though. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, them tuck games was legendary, yo. Yeah, I see. we had some legendary, man. That was that, that. I mean, that built the chemistry that we had today, man. The, yeah. the brotherhood that we got today, man. We had some long, cold nights up in the, in our apartments back in the day, man. For playing real. cars and just chilling with each other. And that's I miss thing. them days, bro. But I do too, bro. I, I talk about that stuff all the time. Oh, right, now yeah. Andy was on my pod the other day. I remember going to his crib, and then when you was here, going right. to your crib, and then like we really Monopoly, grew, you know? Monopoly. We yeah. grew up like. We grew up together. And you know how, like, the saddest thing for me about football, you tell your first saddest moment ever, I'm going to tell mine right now. So the fat, saddest thing for f me for football was realizing some people is really just teammates, you know? Right. <laughs> like, that was the saddest thing when I had to realize that. Like, I learned that up here. Like, and I was like, wow. Like, because, like, we play on a football team, and in my mind, the way I was set up, it's like, all right, like, we helping each other feed our families. Right. We, we helping all each forever. other doing, like, like everything. It's never going and, and it's never going in. We, like, a, like, we go outside. We go together. We coming back together no matter what type stuff. And then when you realize, like, oh, snap, it's just like, oh, that's just a teammate. That's not, like, a real friend type right. stuff. So that was, like, my saddest moment, realizing, like, dang, yo. It's only temporary. Yeah, that temporary love. But then football do that to you, though. Right. Football so gangster, you know what I mean? Like, if football was, like, like, that'd be a dangerous girl to mess with. Because you know she's going to break her heart. <laughs> <laughs> listen. You know she's going to break your heart. But you're going to love her as, like, as we love her can. so much. We give her everything we got. That's why I think football players are different, man. We we go through a lot that people really don't really understand. Like, nah. to be honest, like, 
I was explaining this to my homeboy the other day. Like mm -hmm. he was talking about his resume, and I'm like, bro, I never did a resume before. And he looked at me like, like I was crazy. Nah, I'm like, but you don't really understand. I just been playing football all my life. Oh. Like I've never even had to apply for a job before. I've never even applied for a job before. Bro, for so real. So I don't know nothing about that world. He looked at me like I was crazy. He was like, bro, you 34 and you don't know how to, you don't got a resume. I said, no. I, what would I even put on the resume? See, and it's, like I've never did nothing different in my life but play football. That's why I'm like we bro. different. And we, we hard to understand sometimes, but at the end of the day, Ain't people nobody that play football, you more than yeah, a footballer, like football is going to be what it is. And yeah. if you give it all you got, it's going to get right back to you like and, it's supposed to. And that's just the game, you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying about football guys, you feel me? Like, yep. the people that's always been the people in football are always going to get, like, what they deserve and what they get. Like, right, you get what you put Brandon out. Brandon Banks, legendary in the CFL, like, Nobody ever did anything you did, you feel me? Like, nobody can ever take that from you. And I know you be Appreciate on Twitter that. snapping sometimes, like, I'm just man, because, you, you know, the gang Hamilton, we a little uneasy sometimes because we miss you and stuff. But, you know what I mean, coming from me and the mob, I just want to let you know we love you, you know what I nah, mean? Just making that. sure you know that, you know what I mean? Brandon Banks on the pod. Brandon, we got this thing on my um, podcast called 21 Questions. 21 Questions for 21 Savage. Ooh! Okay, yeah, so we all got our little cups of juice and oh, what we're gonna do is For every question that you don't want to answer you just take a sip oh, if okay. the question's too hard You just take a little sip. You ain't gotta say nothing. You know what I mean? Right, I got you. So like if I would say if I would say for you coach O or coach Dunwiddle, what would you do? You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> you know Brandon Banks never been stupid you <laughs> What the, look, a lot of y'all, look, I'm going to tell you, like, we, like, you know what I mean? This is gay. Hold on. I got it. So, I heard Brandon is still in, you know what I mean? We still in season and stuff. So, I got these juice shots, right? They really good for your body, like turmeric and all that That's stuff. Okay. Get you right, you know what I mean? Nice. So, I'm going to pour you up a shot of that. All right. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what that's said. Pour you up a shot of that little turmeric. Get them right. Wait, that's not, this, um... Beet, grapefruit, acid, retriever, yeah, juice shot, yep. And juice what, shot. It, what it do for you? It's organic. Okay. It's going to make you be you. You feel what I'm saying? All right. No. All right, a little cheers to my dog. Cheers before the 21 questions. Mm-hmm. You see, kids, you can still have healthy fun. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're getting right into the 21 questions. Here we go. Hannah's going to be saying the questions. Okay. All right. Madden or NBA 2K? Oh, Madden, man. Matter of fact, shout out to, you know, I'm the best Madden player in the world right yeah. now. Yeah. Anybody want to yeah, I went to any the smoke ATM today? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All that smoke, any, any smoke. Mm -hmm. So I'm definitely choosing Madden, man. I don't even know how to play 2K. Yeah. I'm a Madden guy, too. A funny story, like me and Brandon, um, we used to play Madden, yo. The last game we played was when I used to be Philly. And I used to have Vic and McCoy and Deshaun Jackson. I would run the same play and take like thousand dollars from you, like a game. You remember that? Cap. Ah! I'm lying. Cap. Wait, wait, wait. Talk about, I'm lying. <laughs> I don't even remember. So I, don't, I don't even remember. I can't even remember that far. No, I can't even remember. Was it, you and Chapo Crib. Okay, I'm, all right. No. I'll let you get away with that oh, one. Oh man, but we can't that do that RPO. today. I was running RP. You can't do that today. After this, I got a little bit of cash so we can play bad. You see every, the PS5 right there. It's a good environment. Oh, yeah. We didn't even get to talk about the uh, most outstanding. Hey, pass me that real quick. That, uh, mo the, the one that looks like the Minnesota shape right there. Everybody uses this stuff. I seen you get this award. I was like, oh, Brandon Banks, he just like me. You feel me? Because like we came out of junior college, so we can't get rookie of the year and stuff, oh, yeah, right? So... When you're the best and you just came from a different environment, it's like I came from a JUCO, right. straight to a Division One program, and you got this same kind of award. They said, what did it say? Outstanding first year player. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Definitely you definitely got that at Julia. I was like, hey, man, man, what dog just the like? You feel what I'm <laughs> I definitely got that one. <laughs> hey, man. Hey. So this is how it feels, though. Like, that's what people don't get. People be talking like, oh, blah, blah. Like, everywhere we went, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it just. To like, be honest, man, just we just living up to our own standards. To be yeah. honest, man, we we expect to be the best, so we gonna perform to be the best, and we ain't doing nothing. We just confirming validity as Coach Ooh, O. Confirming as coach, with validity. As Coach O would say, you know what I'm saying? But confirm, yeah, yeah. Be the best to talk the best. You feel me? And that's why we talk like this. Yeah. Playing. <laughs> These are based on Halloween. No, just. Movies. So would you rather Freddy Krueger or Michael Myers? Oh, Michael Myers all day. 
I, I, I'm saying Freddy Krueger. So the question's like, who who would you rather not run into, Freddy Krueger or Michael Myers? When oh, I was I young, Freddy Krueger used to mess me up. Because yeah, he, you know, could, he look falls. ugly. <laughs> yeah, he look ugly. So, yeah, I ain't trying to run into Freddy Krueger. So Kruger. when you fall asleep, I remember falling asleep, bro, and really seeing Freddy Krueger. Like, you used to terrify The only me. thing about Michael Myers, like, you'll run away from him and be away from him, he'll still pop up beside oh, you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mike, like, Michael what? different, though. <laughs> you be chilling there. <laughs> and then by the way, and he right there beside you. Like, damn, what the hell, Mike? Mike Fast. <laughs> Mike, Mike was the only offensive lineman running a 4-2. Right. Like, dang. No, uh, but I got to wait for a second. Real stuff. Real spill. Hamilton or Toronto? Man, come on. I'm going to say Hamilton. Uh, I'm going to say Hamilton. To be honest, man, Hamilton, <sighs> Hamilton is home, man. I'm going to keep it a buck. I ain't going to lie. Hamilton is home. I'm having fun at uh, Toronto right now. Um, but Hamilton is home, man. That's what, what raised me, what made me a man, and who I am. My dog Speedy got to be one of the most realest persons that you ever yeah, go man, meet. Yeah, man, I'm a whole me? show. Ain't no way I can't even come on there and just <laughs> nah, shoot look, the code. Got to nah, keep it real, man. Because it's my dog. Like he one of the real. realest people you know you ever right, go I'm meet. I'm always gonna speak my mind. And like you know, he's just one of them guys. He gonna give it to his all where he at. And like he's one of those special kind of people because a lot of people are not able to like dictate like their feelings and like and then other what they have to do. Like as much as. Speedy loves Hamilton like he loves football, you know what I'm right. saying? And like it shows all the time when you're on the football field. Like Speedy it. just liked the win. And that's why I always liked even like even if it looked like he gets throwing like whatever a tantrum or something, like I know where that shit coming from because right. I see what you do and what you risk. Oh, my favorite play. I gotta tell you a favorite play. I'm sorry, y'all be going on rants because I remember that stuff, right? My favorite Speedy B play, right? We was playing the BC Lions, right? And they kept talking about um the linebackers. Um yeah, you know I mean, we was gonna attack the linebackers on da da da, and it was um, it was what's the what's the it was Elementium and Big Hill, right? And then you on ran, BC? yeah, on BC, uh -huh. and you ran over to the sideline, and then he had a Elementium had a square up hit on you, and he tried to give you everything, and you ducked your shoulder, you broke the tackle, when you oh, scored. Oh, score! Yeah, 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 I remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember it now, yeah, yeah. So like, hey, I forgot about that play. Yeah, no, I, I did. My wife, one of the toughest plays I ever been. Like, yeah, I forgot about that because, play. Yeah, so because he ago. came down, he gave yeah. you everything, and yeah. I'm like, because you also set a record. You remember what yeah. you set the record in? In, in the NFL, what you had the record in? Uh-uh, what? So in the NFL, you had the record for being the uh, most lightest player ever in oh, NFL yeah, yeah, history. Okay. Right. So, like, that ever being in mind when you about to take hits, like, from linebackers and stuff like that? Honest, bro, like, that, that small stature stuff is never in my mind, man. Yeah. I'm really, like, I really, I'm, what, I'm 5'7". But you really 6'5". I live five. life like I'm 6'7", though. You feel me? Like, I never, that's never in my mind. Like, I never yeah. know I'm small until... You know what I mean? I don't even until know. Until soon never, come. Never. <laughs> until never. I just, I just, you know, take a business decision. Yeah. That's all I do. I know how to get down and get down. I don't nah. want to hit nobody, but nah, but for real though, no, nah, I appreciate that. Damn, that's crazy you remember that play though. That's nah. it. That is one of like my that's, favorite. That's toughest, one of my that's, favorite that's, plays. That's like one of the toughest plays because I ever had. Because you yeah, know, I remember I like when you that. play football, right? You can't help to be a fan of certain people. So I was like, you know what? If I got to be a fan of anybody in the league, why not be a fan of my own teammate, right, Speedy? Right. So every day we switch jerseys. Every, I'm oh, like, yeah, we did, so yeah, you know, I watch Speedy. Coach Speedy go make a play on offense. And I'm like, oh, hell no. I got to show up. You know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I ain't about, about, about to be at the card game and right. I ain't make no plays. <laughs> <Speedy, laughs> yeah. what they talk about, oh, you know, you got whatever going on at the function. You know, right. you might have a bunch of people talk about the football game. You yeah, might you have to make sure you talk about speedy, everybody. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, they might, all the, all the, all the uh, beautiful people, all the beautiful <laughs> ladies is talking about, oh, Speedy V scored right, five yeah. touchdowns. And I mean, he you know, I'm just playing, I'm going to get that love regardless, man. Right? So, <laughs> so, so you got introduced to him. Well, well, did you see? Well, next time, watch. Watch how I pick the man off his feet. <laughs> <laughs> what? Not me. <laughs> Not I. All right, back to 21 question. <laughs> Playing a wide receiver or returning kicks? Ooh. Ooh. I go first. Hold on. So, mine would definitely be returning kicks because when I was in junior college, like, I really used to like the return kicks and I used to take them <laughs> to the crib, believe it or not. Like, yeah, Which yeah. I, I think. I'm nah, I think I'm gonna go with return kicks because that's like shit, that's my bread and butter. Like, yeah. I can do that with my eyes closed. I mean, ain't nothing like 
man, just being in an open space and just returning the kick. And plus, also, I think it got a bit, it got more of an effect of, of the game. Yeah. You know what I mean, man? It, returning the, the kick, that, that the momentum, it kind of, mm -hmm. it hurts the team bad. Mm -hmm. Um, but To be honest, man, you got a better chance of winning a football game when you return the kick. I mean, mm -hmm. I learned that from, the, you know, the great uh, Jeff Rombo. But, uh... <laughs> hey Jeff, yo, you want to come on my show? I'll straight body bag you. Don't, don't sm all smoke. You get but, uh, all smoke for me. Uh, you crazy. <laughs> can't talk like me. Can't do nothing like me. <laughs> hey, look, I, got, I ain't got nothing to do with this. But yeah, man, I'm gonna go return, man. Ain't nothing like returning the kit, man. It's just different. That's what kind of. That's what made me who I am today. Yeah, yeah. for sure. I feel that. Boy, dad or girl, dad? Oh yeah. man, I'm gonna take a sip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so you, Speedy got two beautiful kids. And like, when I tell you his kid, so we got to give out a shout out to Lil Brandon Banks because I know Lil Brandon Banks going to be watching this. Right. So, you know, Brandon Banks, like, Speedy used to, like, have his son come up for, like, a couple of weeks all the time, you know, mm -hmm. he used to just come to all the meetings uh, and, like, he sure. would soak up and, like, I used to see, like, him just looking at his dad like, oh, wow, like, oh, like that. you know what I mean? That's tough, like, like. You, you get to be the ultimate role model for the, your son that absolutely loves what you do. You right, know what I mean? Exactly. And he's no slouch. Talk about my dog, yo. No, nah, man. Appreciate <laughs> it, man. Shout out to the, the junior, man. Lil Brandon. Uh, man, he's doing good, man. He's doing good in school right now. He's doing good on his football team. Uh, he play middle school ball now, man. Mm -hmm. He's in the seventh grade now. I mean, mm -hmm. probably when you, met, when you met him, he's probably in second grade. Uh, yep. Starting first grade when you met him. But, mm -hmm. um... Man, no, I appreciate you, man. When he used to come around, y'all used to make me, uh, you know, feel feel at home, man. That's why he used to he used to cry literally every time it's time to go because Simone used to come get him and pick him up and take him places and do things like that. He used to give me a break and let me take a nap for school uh, after practice. Um, used to bring him birthday cakes. I mean, things yeah. like like that, man. I appreciate that, man. You made it feel like home for us, man. But man, it's just a great feeling just being there for my my kids, man, and just being a dad. But I can't pick between I mean, my my, my yeah, daughter's nah. doing well as too, man. Mm -hmm. She doing um she got a new instrument. I just bought her a new instrument. Yeah. Um, she playing the flute right now. And she oh! she made her little little chorus team right okay. now. So she excited about that, man. So man, being the ultimate dad is is man, it's nothing better. I mean, it ain't better than football, but football right there. Yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> but no, it ain't nothing like being a dad, man. I, so I like I said, I can't. I gotta take a drink to that. Yeah, for see. sure, because you yeah. a superhero on the field and off the field. Oh, like you sure. just a superhero in life. See your kids, all that. That's a bad it. player. Yep, next one. Lamar Jackson or Michael Vick? <sighs> Ooh. Ooh, that just made my stomach I'm going to go with Vic because I'm an old head. Vic was just Ooh. like a left hand. And then mm. he like kind of changed the game. He like opened the game for yeah. Lamar Jackson. Like I don't think it would be a Lamar Jackson without Vic. Not, not trying to discredit Lamar Jackson. Like he'll still be what he is today. But man, Vic was just different, man. It was just the way he did things. It was just... He made everything cool, like from yeah. the braids, the cornrows, to the cleats. Yeah. Man, just the Vic commercial. You remember that commercial? Yeah, where, he like, threw it the whole field. Thing? Yeah, like, <laughs> and he just, went through his chest. Right, yeah. it was just Michael Vick. The way he did it is different, I mean, but Lamar Jackson killing it right now, man. Yeah, he deserves everything he, he, he gets. next up. But, man, Michael Vick all day. I got to go Michael Vick, too, because I remember one time, uh, my first when I was in camp with the Philadelphia Eagles, we got this big hill. We used to uh, practice at Lehigh, and there's this big hill you had to go. So all like the veteran players that just drive their whips, right? And you know me, I'm a Michael Vick fan. Like right, me too. I play Madden with Vic. Like right, me too. everybody play Madden with Vic. So like now, you know, like I'm trending. I'm in the NFL, and Michael Vick pull over his car, right? And he's like, Hey, young, come in, jump in the car, come get a ride. So right. like, I'm in Mike Vick car right now, trying to be cool and stuff. I'm like. And maybe while right. I'm over here fanning out, I just like right. Vic because right. that's the only place. Like you know how we is, we dogs and right. we think the we're world of ourselves. Right. But like, we like Santana else. Boss was yours, right. Mike Vic was mine. Right, for real. <laughs> I mean, I got a Mike Vic story too. Like my first time seeing Vic was. I don't know if y'all remember the Mike Vick uh, Monday Night Football with the Eagles when he first played the game, he threw that long ball to Deshaun Jackson. Deshaun Jackson, yeah. I was <laughs> on the sideline watching that game <laughs> with the Redskins. And I was just sitting there. I never been, as a action. fan, I was just sitting on the sideline watching him, man. Mike Vick was just the ultimate. But shout out to Lamar Jackson, man. Yeah, for sure. Be you safe, man. Get yeah. that money, man. Yeah, you be safe, man. Be, be safe. Lamar, just get paid. Stay paid, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> nah, do what you're doing. <laughs> Next question. 
Future or Little Dirk? Ooh, I'm going Future, man. Yeah, yeah, I knew you wasn't going. You know I me, mean? I'm, I'm a Future. I'm a Future. I wouldn't say a Future head, but I'm a Future big, big yeah. Future fan, man. I'm going Future, man. man. Shout out to Dirk, though. Man. <laughs> Ain't no, you feel me? Bro? I'm with Future, man. He talked to, you know, he talked that talk. Yeah, I'm gonna take a sip. I don't know, <laughs> but Future mad toxic. He helped you get through some stuff. He did. <laughs> I might be a little toxic myself. <laughs> <laughs> But no, man, Yo. shout out, shout out to Future and Dirk, man. Me, he introduced me to this things I didn't even know was like real in life. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about right now. <laughs> All right, next question. Meek Mill or Drake? Ooh. Ooh. I'll tell my story while you think about it. I got to go Meek Mill, just because like that's the area I grew up in. And Speedy could contest to this story when uh, Meek Mill and Drake was in their little situation and stuff. I had hit, I went on Twitter and I hit my dog, uh, somebody calling one of the Meek Mill's managers up, right? And I was like, yo, you know what I mean? We'll come to the game, come watch the, uh, come and watch the, come and watch the uh, concert. concert, right? Mm -hmm. So we watching it, so I hit him up, I'm like, all right, bet. So I hit up Speedy, I'm like, Speedy, you want to go to concert? Go um, watch Meek, and this was the, in the heat of the battle like Drake just came out with charged up and all that yeah, but then you that. gotta remember Nicki Minaj still mad lit too and Drake and Meek was on tour with uh Nicki, with Nicki right mm -hmm. so we get there we chilling the, the, they hit us up I'm like oh snap all right y'all let's go so we go back and then it's like oh, Nicki, Nicki Minaj security yard guard came and got us right so we just sitting all right there Meek Mill performing Nicki Minaj performing yeah, and I dope. have that was dope times, man. That was a fun that night, was dope right? Times. That was, to be honest, when I was thinking about one of the, the toughest times, that was I was thinking about that time right there. I think it was like the funnest time I had with you. <laughs> Besides, like playing football and yeah. all the football games and mm -hmm. football things we experienced, like, uh, but yeah, that was like one of the dopest times. And you ever, you ever another dope time I was thinking about? You remember the time we went to the children's hospital and the dude started rapping? Oh yeah, but that's still my boy. He be on the beats and stuff. Oh, um, you still talk yeah, to him? Yeah. Well, shout just, out to him, man. Well, whoever was. Davis banging. Davis banging. Yeah, he was just in the hospital. I was just oh, yeah. talking to him. Man, he a real one, yo. Yeah. He pushing t-shirts right now. That's what's up, man. I was yeah, thinking about so that like one of the Davis greatest times. Yeah. Yeah, but we, man, but back to the meat meal drink, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go with uh Drake, man, because Drake is who Drake is, man. Drake, Drake can't miss, man. Drake, <laughs> he, he is who he is. Not yeah. saying, man, no discredit to me. Like I love mm -hmm. me. I still listen to me to this day. I listen to me over seventy percent of people that's out today. But mm -hmm. Drake is who he is. Drake is he, he know who he is. Like it just <laughs> he don't miss, man. He he just and I, I like how he moves, man. He he a dope person. I feel like. He take advantage of the opportunities that he gets. You know what I'm saying? Drake dope. Good. Smooth, smooth that. NFL field or CFL? Uh, I'm going to say a field, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because for the little speedy guy like myself, <laughs> and the field is so wide and so big, you know what I'm saying? I just get, you know, the space, the opportunity to be myself and, you know, kill people with the speed and the angles of the field. So the CFL field all day. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to CFL. I made the most money in the CFL. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Driving or flying? Um, uh, I want. I'm driving, man. Yeah, I'm, driving, I'm driving, man. Too. I to to be honest, I drive, man. I don't want to fly unless I have to fly. That's the Absolutely only time I want to fly. Have to. If I have to fly, that's the only time I, I want to drive. As long as I stay on, on land, I'm gonna stay on land. You man. know, if what I'm I ain't got to fly. I don't want to fly. You know real. That's real. Same. Vacation with the boys or vacation? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It can go either or for me. <laughs> vacation. I'm gonna for sure go. Um, I'm gonna. I'm a for sure go vacation. <laughs> you know, I'm around the boys all the time. You know, I play football for a little. Oh, true, true. true. <laughs> Nothing like the boys trip, bro. <laughs> Man, equal fun. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I was interested. I was curious. Um, was I'm going to go Randy, man. Yeah. Randy was, you know what I mean? Randy was different. I don't know. Right. I really, to saying. be honest, I ain't, I saw Jerry Rice, but I was like on his end of his yeah. career. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. But, but Randy, man, Randy, he got a, his, his last name Moss. is a noun. 
But you know what I mean? Yeah. Like he got I'm like he changed balls, the game. Right. Yeah, it's like, Randy Moss for me, man. He changed everybody the game. say Jerry right because like everybody respect that like slow work hard. Right. He caught bricks and yeah, stuff. He, but he like catch everything. Randy Moss is great in every single era. And he gonna I, change the defense. You see what I'm saying? They game like, planning for you. They game. They have to. Right. You have to game plan. Jerry right. Rice. I feel like you get a nice corner. He getting them out of like here. Like he just a high bit. low. You know what I'm just saying? high low him a little bit. Put one underneath, one on the top. Yeah, he ain't got no breakaway uh, speed. you rolling coverage to him? You have to. <laughs> right. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. Dice game or card game? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, let's, let's see which one I made the most money in. <laughs> Dice Only game. Only you ask that question. <laughs> I'm gonna take both of them and drink because both are equal to me. Oh, yeah, it's a bro. I can't pick. I don't know, no cars might work a little better for me, but I don't, <laughs> I don't know, I got a flick of the wrist, too. Hey, Tunk, man. Hey, <laughs> I just we got talk, some legendary Tunk days, man. We got some legendary Tunk days. Bro, yeah, Tunk was so crazy. We used to have games playing Tunk where people would win their money and not collect their money because they thought they lost. Like, Norwood, like, how many oh, times man. did Norwood just- it blow his money. It's, man, Eric Norwood, shout out to Eric Norwood, man. Eric Norwood, that's Old time dog. CFL player, man, for the top hey, cast, one of man. the best DS ever, just raw talent, yo. Right. Shout out to Eric Norwood, he, be right. driving, he got his little truck business, it's not his little, he has his truck business doing right. his thing, so try, shout sure. out Eric Norwood. And one day I'm gonna have him come and sit where you at and tell us That'd about the dope. dare story. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's a lot of stories, man. Oh my God, they just get the deer. Oh man, all that's I legendary. Was like, I was like, yo, whatever you do, don't say that. That's a legendary story. Shout out to Ken Austin. What? <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Next question. Next question. Next question. <laughs> the deer. Yo, <laughs> next question. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> J-Lo or Gabrielle Union? This is set up, bro. I'm it going is. Gabrielle Union. I think I'm going to go Gabrielle Union. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna call, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I, just, yeah, yeah. I think I feel like I know more about Gabrielle Union than yeah. I do J-Lo. You, and then, yeah, because like, what, yeah, drumline. Yeah. Yeah. I just know more about her. Yeah. Michael Jordan or LeBron James? <sighs> I'm going joy, man. I'm a joy and guy, but LeBron, I'm a I'm a LeBron fan, but right now this is still joy for me, man. Yeah. Joy to Jordan is the ultimate athlete to me. I watched Jordan growing up. I love Michael Jordan. I love everything about Jordan. Jordan, yeah. Jordan, Jordan. But LeBron ain't too far behind him. I think when he finish, his all said and done. I think he's gonna be finished like one of the all-time greatest athletes ever. I think you can't take nothing away from LeBron James because nobody's all. ever been like more dominant than him right. on the court and being able to do whatever he wants and go wherever he wants and make that team competitive. Right. But like for me, it's Michael Jordan because I ain't like being an athlete. You go and try to learn other athletes, and I studied Michael Jordan. Yeah, me too. How he was with his teammate, like 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 he'd be so competitive with his teammates, he'd be ready to right. fight them type. And like I, I like I really study, and that's how I am. That's like how you know what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, so it's like yeah, having people hold. Them your teammates accountable. Holding your teammates That's all accountable. He and like, and to do, like, I don't think people understand how hard that is to hold your teammates accountable because you know what kind it's of. It's kind of hard to do it You know nowadays. what kind of teammate you, you, you know what kind of player you gotta, you know what I mean, be. Right. But like, but like the way like it is now, it's like you gotta force that feelings got yeah, put to the side, side by yeah. standards. It's all about the standards. It's different. Like anyway. you, it's it's tough, but they, but it's also a benefit for people like us because you gotta know like the new jump, like new people that's coming up and like it's mass sweet. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. not, yeah, it's they, sweet. They, they, <laughs> you can't be t they don't got tough skin. Man. It's like, it's, like it's, if you go tell a person uh, to run a route, uh, tackle better, mm -hmm. they take it to the heart. Like, no, yeah. I'm just trying to help you out. I'm just helping y'all to bro, tackle a little bit better. That's yeah. it. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, you know, the new generation different, man. Yeah, and it's, it's fun. That's why I need to unbody to retire by when it's great cover. Hey, Charlotte, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, exclusive, exclusive, yeah. speedy, beat. You think about retire? I'm like, Oprah, what's wrong with y'all? Wait, you think about retiring, speedy, beat? Wait, the greatest returner in CFL history why you, what, what make like, and you still doing it at a high level, it's mad easy for you, like, man, I know you miss the kids, but yeah, like, we man, gonna, I'm, I'm we old, what you man. mean? I'm old, I'm just chasing the great cup right now. If we would've won it last year, I probably wouldn't be still playing. Yeah. Me, I got real answer. No, I still love the game, I'm having fun again, but 
Last year, if we would have won it, because I'm ready to be around with my kids. I mean, my kids in middle school now. Like, I'm ready yeah. to you know, be around with my kids. But, uh, yeah, man, I'm just chasing the ring, man. I'm open for it. So I'm just, I don't have nothing to prove to nobody. I'm just really. You don't got nothing to prove to nobody. I'm really just chasing great Cup right now. So. And, like, and that's what you got to understand, too, because that's why I always talk about football. Having everybody like, oh, ring this, ring. Like, rings is important. Right. Everybody that got a ring, they earned that. And, like, y'all get that. I feel like I, mean? I put rings in enough important. work to deserve it. But, like, football heaven, you know what I mean? Like, you a football god, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, regardless of what anybody says, when Brandon Banks come in the in the room, like, you got to respect it. You feel what I'm saying? That. And that's just the real on that, for real, for real. And, like, so, you still going to get some more change, though. For you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Tim Hortons Field or BMO Field? Come on, man. Ooh. I'm going to go Tim Hortons Field, even though, I'm going to go Tim Hortons Field, even though that I, you know that, you know that my first performance was in BMO Field in Toronto in oh, 2016 when they opened the field, right? All right, let's, let me tell y'all a story about that. That you call like a pit six or something? Yeah, so oh, like I, I hit a one-liner, guys. You know what a one-liner is? So it was playing Toronto. It was their opening night in, um, in Toronto at BMO Field, you know, and uh, I had the one-liner. And one-liner is it means you hit every single stat in the defensive column. Oh, yeah, I remember column. that. I remember so you got to get an interception, a sack, a tackle for loss, a bat down, an interception, a touchdown. Yeah, you hold, bro. You <laughs> That's what, that's what you do, though. I remember that. That was a great game. So, like, that was probably one of my... And then, and then they screamed it on all ESPN. So it was running on all the ESPN loops and stuff yeah, in nah. the States. That I'm was dope. probably one of my favorite moments. Because I think uh, that game, I returned a uh, missed field goal, too. Yeah. If you want to be exact. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that game. <laughs> <laughs> you see? The brand ended up putting numbers up. So I'm like, how the heck do I... Outperform a missed field goal, you know what I mean? No, nah, you did. No, nah, you did that though. <laughs> Get a stat in every every category. Yeah, man. That, that was that's a different, fun, man. That was a fun job. Like, you just put up game. different numbers. That was a fun game. Roger Goodell or Randy Ambrose? <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did have a personal meeting with both of them. <laughs> I mean, I am a little. Troublemaker. Nah, you a great see. human though. Let's see, man. No, I like to voice my opinion. Let me see. I think, I think I'm gonna choose Randy and Brosa because you know Roger Goodell. He didn't really give a damn what I said. Like he just heard what I said and kept going. I think just because he, you know, he rich. But Randy and Brosa, you know, he kind of took me in. You know, he listened to what I had to say. He told hmm. me every time I need to call him, on, you know, he gave me his phone number. So I got him on speed dial. So we tight. We locked in. So I'm going to use you, Randy. Shout out to Randy, man. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? Still waiting on that money, you know? <laughs> hey, yo, this is the baby to stop podcast, yo. Hi, Randy. Everything's good. Hope I never see you again. <laughs> I'm blaming him, too. It's his fault. <laughs> it's all love. It's all love. What's the next question? Night in Toronto or night in DC? Ooh, I had to ask you because I've been to DC on a good on no, I've been to DC mm. on a great night. I lived some great nights in DC. <laughs> oh man! Because look, because that's when I remember when Go Go was going crazy out oh, there. Oh man, that's that? tough. It was like clear C club love. Or what yeah, was that? club love. They had oh, a club love. God. I don't know. I'm gonna drink to that one. <laughs> That's a but tough then one. Toronto, boy, you the wake up and the sun's up and you're like, what just happened? Oh man, what would I choose though? Be, I, it depends on what time of the year it is though, because you know I ain't down with that cold shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's so cold in Toronto, but man, that's a good question because they, good. they equal, but like that is they both different, but it's an equal question. It's like, an equal, bro. Yeah, but, because that, that Toronto, you're gonna get that that diverse, all that diversity. And then that DC man, that's something different. That's DC, that's something chocolate different. city, man. That's chocolate city. But like, that, that's why I'm asking you though, because in yeah. DC, you you Brandon Banks in DC oh, too, out, though. No, nah, but no, nah, <laughs> because you know it's a different like. Yeah, I was living Simone a going lifestyle. out in Hamilton, Simone going out in Toronto, any like any like that shit is going to be fun regardless. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you Brandon different. Banks in DC, bro. Everybody said like, you nah, know, it's different, it's, man. I had some 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 times. I mean, that was a different lifestyle I was living. Yeah, man. you know, that's the NFL. Everybody want to, you yeah. know, be behind you, but man, Toronto, I feel like I can be me and I can be look kind of low. And you can I go could, by yourself. Yeah, I can, go, I can be mm -hmm. me over there, but it was, man, that's a good question. I don't know what I would choose. I'd probably go with the Toronto side if it was summertime. Okay. You know, something like come around Carabana type stuff. Okay, okay. Hold on, I got to get my boy his other beat shot. Here you go, your other beat shot. It's just the beat juice, get right. You All know right. what I mean? Man. That one's the turmeric shot. Turmeric gets you right. 
Hold on. I was like, where your shot? My bad, I forgot to pour him. I was just thinking about you, Speedy. You know I'm a leader. There you go. All right. There you go. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> what flavor was that? <laughs> and what this do for your body? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, next question. <laughs> good sleep or good night out? You know how old now, so I'm taking that good sleep, man. I'm, 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 past, I'm past the good night out, so no more good, out, good yeah, nights out for me, man. I'm gonna take that good, I'm good sleep. sleep. You get that good sleep, you wake up, man. man. You look like Hollywood. Yeah, right, yeah. I'm with that sleep, right? I'm sleep by nine o'clock every night. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I ain't gonna lie, like that is my bedtime. Like my, uh, you know how the uh, phone just shut down, and go on dark mode. Yeah. People can't text you and stuff. Mine's nine o'clock as well. Yeah, I'm about nine o'clock. I'm nine o'clock as well. Get them sleep, kids. Yeah, you know, I'm coming from now. Speedy B, one of the fastest people in the world. Like, dang, how that feel? So, do you ever think about like if you wasn't like, what if you were six one with the same gifts? Like, what happens? Uh, what happens? Like, what happens? You think you still? <laughs> Or you think you just, huh? I don't think, to be honest, I love the, I love him, I love the Lord and Savior Christ, but I don't think he gonna gift you with all that. That's too much. It's too much. That's too and much. And it's only one LeBron. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he gonna get, if I feel like I'm sick one, I got that same speed, I don't feel like I'll be, ha, ha. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like it's I just be straight only. line. He just be straight line, then that's, that's what track come in at. Yeah, that's the Obviously, Olympics. Obviously, yeah. That's, that's what, Olympics. That's Olympic that's straight line speed. Well, but, like, but then again, if he made you like that, you're not playing football. No, I'm not. Because you're in the Olympics and you're not even thinking. You're like, oh, I, I don't want nobody touching me. I'm nah, getting yeah, I'm not I'm, getting hit. <laughs> I'm not going to just run and make money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's for sure, for sure. All right. Gucci or Louie? I'm going Louie. Yeah. I like Louie. Louie got a lot more. Yeah, yeah Louis my more, style. My yeah, style, man. I'm going Louis. I'm Gucci, cause that is that's that that's the bank, man. You know what I mean? That's the <laughs> nah, bank. I don't know. I just, I can, I'm going my style. I like Louis. Louis look better. You feel me? The yeah. LV, you know. Yeah, I feel you. Ain't nothing wrong with Gucci though. So if Gucci ain't wants nothing. to send me anything, it I is a little wrong. I mean, Gucci did do something. Nah, ain't nothing wrong with Gucci. <laughs> I, I got Gucci belt. I just wore yesterday. Shout out to Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> Last question, Bernie Mac. For Jade Chappelle. Ooh, I gotta go, Bernie Mac. Rest in I think peace, I'm gonna go you. Bernie Mac too, cause he's legendary. He, and he said it was he been saying real stuff. Yeah, and, and if you pay attention to his shows, he, but too. if we say anything today, he getting canceled. Oh yeah, he was canceled. For but sure. uh, Dave Chappelle, man, he legendary though. Like he, he like different. he's no slouch. Like he different. Like he a, he a, he. A comedian, like, that's a hard like, comparison too to even he, compare the two. True that. You know what I mean? Because Bernie, Bernie Bernie is a date uh, is a safe and to say Dave Chappelle is safe. That Bernie Mac is a safe Dave Chappelle, if you really think about it. neither one of them say. No. <laughs> hey, no. I get what you're saying, though. No, I get what you're saying. Mean, like, though. if you had to choose one to be safer, I'm going with Bernie Mac. Yeah. yeah. But, but, like, I don't know, man. Dave Chappelle. That's a good guy. question, man. I'm, I'm going to go with Bernie Mac. This is so homage to, you know, the old school. You know, I'm a little old. And, man, he was just raw. I don't yeah. think nobody was raw as Bernie Mac. You know? yeah, he just told it like he was. All right. So now we've done the 21 questions. We found out about Speedy B. Um, Speedy B, we have this other game now, right? Called Body Bag. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, a start, okay? So in this game, I give you three people mm -hmm. and you gotta body bag them, bench them, or start. What you like, mean by bench? Like put on the bench? You right? gotta put them on the bench okay. like you get no TikTok. Like they, they, your kids watching the game, they don't get to see you play. You're on the bench. Play. You all know right. what I'm saying? Shoot the like, three. Let me see. Yeah, all right. So we have Jeremiah Masoli, mm -hmm. which I believe you were uh, most outstanding player, right? With Jeremiah? I was, yes. Okay. I like that. I like that. We have Zach Caleros. Okay. We have. I know what the third one is. <laughs> McLeod Bethel on, Thompson. <laughs> or you can just pay me to stop and we'll shut the cameras off. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to pay that cash. <laughs> 
I'm gonna pay to stop, bro. I gotta pay to stop, bro, because I got I gotta go with a great car. <laughs> Like, shout out to Big Show. Shout out to Stop Podcast. Shout I out to Brandon Banks. Everybody. Stop. The bank is still open. Shout my dog, Brandon Banks, for pulling through. It's one of my best friends. And you know I give know. it up for my dog. So, Hamilton Family. Show, my dog love always. Brandon Banks, Pay Me to Stop Podcast, episode number four. Yes. Appreciate it.